don't know that I would have Yeah, step on that. I can't get this. Somebody strong want to come up here? I can do squats. It's okay. We can do squats. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You warmed it up for a minute. Good job. Wait, which way? Wait, tighten your loose. It's coming. It's going to get there. There we go. Yeah, right. We did it. Got shy first. Okay. I'm Maria Miller. I'm a freshman. I am still Becky Snowden. I am still a sophomore. I'm Lily Yates. I'm also a freshman. And my name is Sarah Schrader, and I'm a sophomore, and we are from Skite Catholic. I like your words. Good job. And this poem is titled, Can, Can You Hear Me, me Now? now? for anyone and everyone like us who feel they can't be heard. I don't know if your version of loud and mine are the same. My loud is always blanketed. Kept inside, I watch as you lock it up. Interrupt me and you break the key. I won't allow this anymore. My laugh is often the first thing people hear. It spreads down the halls, filling the space until it's only my laugh. It makes everyone happy, but it's only my laugh. My words never make it past the hall doors, can never be heard in the slamming of lockers. Feminists aren't man eaters. Can you hear what we're saying? We know it's hard, but strain your ear for us. To you, we may be a pin dropping, but we just want to be heard. We are young, but young doesn't mean we can't have our own say in our own future. Belief system, gender identity. Young doesn't equate to unimportant. And if you think it does, I'm sorry my words aren't important to you. Listen, Listen to our voice instead. It shouts in my head and tries to break out of my mouth. I kept it caged because you have told me before you don't understand the world. But at least I'm trying to open my mind's door just a little bit more instead of sitting here watching as injustice parades at my doorstep shooting different skins and different religions saying it's only a military display. Because you have told me. You can't possibly know what you think yet. You aren't even an adult. Wait until you hit the real world. As if I'm not real. As if my thoughts about the world around me aren't real. Just bubbled imaginations I shaped in my mind. Shattering beyond repair once I step out from under your roof. Because you have told me. I don't see why you're so excited about cartoons. They sound really stupid. Now every time I bring that topic up, I preface it with an I'm sorry. I know this is boring. Do you know how it sounds when you're really excited and then have to proclaim to the world, I'm sorry I'm boring you with my interests? I apologize for being so happy. I'm sorry this makes me happy. Not much else does. Am I boring you? Can you hear me now? I don't know if you can. Talked over, walked over, I find myself repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. I find myself repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. Hoping one of these times will be the time you listen I am screaming at you. My voice is breaking the sound barrier. I am yelling at you. My voice is loud enough to break an iceberg in half. I am the loudest being in the universe right now. All you should be able to hear is me. All you should be able to hear is my voice, pouring over you, flooding you, drowning you, and what I've been carving into my tongue, and what I've been ranting to shadows, and what I've been trying to say. What I have always been trying to say so why am I not making a sound?